Talos, has his name derived from a bronze giant in Greek mythology, but the deity has very little in common with the origins of his name. In Forgotten Realms and Dungeons and Dragons lore, Talos is a chaotic evil god of destruction. Often called the Stormlord, he is a greater deity that leads the gods of fury, who are evil deities associated with weather and nature. Talos is greatest among them, and counts destructive aspects of nature such as storms, earthquakes, and tornadoes in his portfolio. Briefly during 4th edition Dungeons and Dragons, it was said that Talos was actually an aspect of Grumsh, the god of the orcs in Forgotten Realms and other Dungeons and Dragons settings. This has since been retconned, and written into the lore as an unfounded rumor. Talos was aggressive, irate, impetuous, and frequently driven by his rage. The slightest offenses could incite him to rage and destruction, and he may harbor resentment for millennia after the offense. He frequently engages in petty acts against his enemies. He owes this to his vindictive nature. Talos loves chaos and anarchy, and celebrates in destruction. Talos is the type of person that would knock over your sand castle on the beach for a laugh. Other deities see Talos as a bully. He has the personality of an entitled child. Talos also fears being seen as weak, and believes that compromising or giving up any ground will give an opening for his enemies to strike. To ensure he maintains this alpha deity persona, Talos wreaks havoc and subdues the weak, showing off his strength as a warning to those that might cross him. Followers of Talos are chaotic and destructive. They relish in destroying everything from physical objects to institutions. The main desire of the Church of Talos is to prove that nothing that has been created cannot be destroyed. His followers understand the impermanence of everything, including life, and are sometimes thrill-seekers as a result. Talos lives in the plain of Pandemonium, in the topmost layer called Pandesmos. His home is a tower that is constantly assaulted by howling winds. This is called many names, but some of them include the Towers of Ruin, the Screaming Towers, or the Towers at the Heart of the Winds. When Talos takes on his avatar form in the realms, he appears as a man with big shoulders and one missing eye. Under his black leather eye patch is a gaping hole with spinning stars. If Talos lifts the eye patch, he can rain destruction upon an enemy many times over in the blink of an eye. He was fond of black leather gloves and half-plate armor, which gave him the appearance of a weathered veteran pirate. In places like Kalimshan, Talos appeared as a jinn like creature at the center of a destructive sandstorm. Because of Talos' nature, many of his followers worship him out of fear. As a result, not everyone in his clergy is evil. In fact, there are many chaotic neutral worshippers among his ranks that simply follow in hopes that the Stormlord will not unleash their destruction upon them and their homes. Even the other gods of fury do not all have positive relationships with Talos. Of the gods of fury, Oral the goddess of winter is probably Talos' closest ally because of their similar outlooks. Umberly, goddess of the violent sea also works with Talos sometimes, but she would kill him and take his portfolio if she were powerful enough. Nalar, a god of evil beasts, hated Talos as well despite despite being forced to be a part of the gods of fury. Talos has more serious enemies in the form of the good-aligned gods and goddesses of nature. Chantia is probably his biggest enemy, as she represents new life and hates untimely death. Sylvanas, Muliki, and Eldeth are also all opposed to Talos' goals, since they seek growth and expansion of nature. But that's not all. Since most deities seek to build or create lasting impact on the realms, the god of destructions has many enemies. Gods representing aspects of civilization and knowledge, like Ogma, Denair, and Gond all oppose Talos since he destroys things that they build. Lawful deities like Tyr and Helm also harbor immense disdain for Talos and his chaotic impulses. By the standards of a greater deity, Talos' church was modest in size, and his devotees were rabid in their devotion to wreaking havoc. The clergy did not have a structured hierarchy. Instead, force was used to compel compliance. Talos' priests loved to blackmail sailors and farmers by threatening to send devastating storms their way if they didn't appease their enraged god. They frequently indulged in acts of random or spiteful violence, pillaging, and banditry in their pursuit of wealth and pleasure. The clergy were ardent evangelists who tried to win people over by instilling fear or tempting them with unbridled power. High clergy wore blue-white ceremonial gowns with red streaks, whereas Talos' clerics donned black robes and cloaks pierced with teardrops and jagged lines of gold and silver. Many of them wear eye patches. Talos and priests frequently multi-class to become sorcerers, wizards, or barbarians. In 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, most clerics that follow Talos use the Storm Domain. Talos' worship was prohibited in several nations. Because of the church's reputation, the majority of holy places were hidden. Talos made sure they wouldn't be damaged by earthquake fault lines, storms, or lava. 
public churches frequently resembled castles or fortified fortresses. Some of the rituals of the church include calling down the thunder. This was a ritual in which an intelligent being was strapped to a tall pole during a storm in an effort to sacrifice them via lightning to tallows. Another strange ritual is the fury, in which clerics would go into fits of destruction, pray when they calm down, and go into another fit of destruction again. Over and over, Talos has also been known by the names Kaza, Bailrose, and Malik. As Malik, he was attempting to gain the portfolio of wild magic, which encroached on the goddess of magic, Mistra. As such, he has made an enemy of her as he tries to gain even more strength and destructive power. Talos has a lot of seafarers that worship him, including ravagers and raiders. Bandits and looters that destroy in order to get what they want often worship him as well, which allows them to justify their chaotic evil actions. Talos is also known as the Storm Lord, Destroyer, Storm Star, Raging One, and the Wild Fire. Although he represents all aspects of destructive nature, he is most commonly associated with lightning and thunderstorm symbology. You might have fun worshipping Talos in your Dungeons and Dragons games. As a cleric, you could approach worshipping him as a storm cleric that relishes in destruction. If you are playing with other good aligned characters, then perhaps you are instead chaotic neutral and simply worshipping Talos out of fear. Maybe you are a half-orc that grew up worshipping Talos because you were told he and Grumsh were the same, only to later learn you had been deceived but now can't leave the church on live. Perhaps you were to be sacrificed via lightning and lived, and are now seen as someone that Talos himself is protecting. There are lots of potential ideas and character concepts available to anyone that wants to include lore from the Church of Talos in their Forgotten Realms character's backstory. One thing you should know is that Talos has a long list of enemies, so not many people are going to like your character if they are honest about their faith. Thanks for watching. For more lore about everything, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment for what lore topic you want us to cover next. See you in the next video.